It wasn't only people who had to go without power last week either. Tens of thousands of Texas homeowners are getting hit with these massive electric bills. Now tonight, I-Team reporter Brian New explains why these astronomical bills actually have very little to do with the amount of power you used. In the middle of record low temps came a bill so high. Just blows my mind. Ty Williams couldn't believe it. I really did think it was a mistake. I was like, there's no way this is happening. An electric bill for his house of more than $11,000. They took $300 from my account on the 13th. They took $300 from my account on the 15th when I didn't have power. Christian Schlinkert was also seeing her electric company draining her bank account. I almost had a heart attack. It was crazy. And yet there's a good chance a house next door using the same amount of power was paying just pennies. Here's why. In most parts of Texas, you can pick your energy plan. Many go with a fixed rate plan where you pay the same rate every month. You could also choose a variable plan where rates can change month to month. And with some variable or index plans like Gritty, it can change by the minute. For a monthly fee of $10, Gritty charges its customers real-time wholesale energy prices with no markup. Here's what that looks like. The average fixed rate plan in Texas is around 11 cents per kilowatt. On Gritty, during low peak times, the price is often a penny per kilowatt. That's a lot of savings. But it can also go up to 30, 40, 50 cents. This past week, it went way up to $9 a kilowatt. And why it didn't stay there the whole time? For an average Texas home this month on a fixed rate plan, your bill will be around $132. On Gritty, you'll be closer to $4,800. They said, hey, you need to leave, change your provider. Gritty sent out emails to its customers when prices peaked, begging them to leave. So I started calling other providers. But the problem was most other providers were not taking on new customers until the market stabilized. I said, this is an emergency situation. This is absurd. Well, I wish I had better news, but those are the people that should be concerned. Matt Oberly owns TexasElectricityRatings.com. He's an energy broker. And while he sells both variable and fixed rate plans, he says for 99% of his customers, a fixed rate is a better option and is always a safer one. My advice for anyone on a variable rate plan would be to get on a fixed rate plan as soon as you possibly can. Gritty did not return the I-Team's request for an interview, but on its website, the company made it clear it too was upset, pointing the finger at ERCOT and the State Public Utility Commission for allowing wholesale prices to go so high. This week in Governor Greg Abbott and the Utility Commission temporarily banned power companies from billing customers or disconnecting them for non-payments. But for most on Gritty, they pay as they go. So in many cases, their money is already gone. We'll never go back ever again. And I will tell you this, I'll be a loud voice for uh, ERCOT reform and energy reform in this state. Governor Greg Abbott says these high electricity bills is now the top priority for the Texas legislature, although it remains unclear exactly what type of relief state lawmakers can provide customers. Meanwhile, tomorrow, House and Senate committees will convene to investigate how these outages happened. With the IT, Brian New, CBS 11 News. Brian, thanks. We should also mention the Texas Public Utility Commission did say late today that they are going to launch an investigation into some Texas power plans, in particular those indexed plans that can change, like Brian was saying, minute to minute based on supply and demand. While allowed technically under state law, the Public Utility Commission does question certainly some of the business practices.